But let me zero in, uh, you made your case there. Now, let me zero in on the other issues that you brought up. Uh, I understand that you're quoting as well a Manila Times article uh, where Justice Leonin allegedly pitched for the uh, dismissal of the case as early as 2017. However, uh, reading that story, uh, I looked up the story, it's a story based on uh, uh, an unnamed source. Uh, so, so how can you base, uh, at least in part, uh, how can you base your petition on a story that came out in media quoting an unnamed source? We, we, we uh, use the reflections mentioned in the story of Manila Times, specifically by uh, Joe Marcanlas, one of its senior reporters. Now, uh, it gives Justice Jonin a fair opportunity to refute, admit, or whatever itong story ng reflections na apparently he was campaigning as early as 10 July 2017 for the outright dismissal of the case. Ngayon, if uh, you've been campaigning 2017 as early as 2017, for the outright dismissal of the case. Ano naman ang aasahan ngayon ni Senator Bongbong Marcos na ikaw ang justice in charge, oponente, e predisposed na, prinijudge mo na yung kaso as early as 2017. Again, as I've said, these are all legal maneuvers available to Bongbong Marcos and we have not operated outside of the legal loop. Mm -hmm. and sir, well, I, I'm not a lawyer, sir, but uh, let me ask this question. Rin, uh. um, I'm not familiar with how the Supreme Court works or how the justice deliberate. Uh, but in any case, uh, during the course of deliberations by justices, uh, aren't they allowed to put forward their arguments on whether they believe certain cases um, stand up or uh, have weaknesses? Uh, isn't that part of the deliberations? By reason of delicadeza, assuming uh, tama yung sinasabi mo, eh. By reason of delicadeza, dapat hindi mo tinanggap yung ponensya o yung justice in charge ng kaso ito. ba? Remember sa judicial canon, a judge must not only be impartial. Ito importante ito na sa judicial canon ito. A judge must not only be impartial but must appear to be impartial. Mere appearance. Mm. So, mm. napakahalan nito. Napakahalan yeah, but Yes, sir. But Patori, let me, you're question, citing sir. a lot of questions. If, if we're talking about deliberations uh, among the justices, uh, wouldn't uh, each justice have an opinion? I mean, we're, in that case, because we're talking about 15 members of a of a of a of a, of a, of a judicial panel, eh? we're not talking about only one judge in an RTC, for example. Eh? Uh, in in which case, well, Puba, uh, aren't the justices allowed to to put forward their opinions during deliberations? With the reflections, I'd say, yes, they are allowed. Kaya ang point yeah. natin dito, kung predispose mo na yung kaso, wag mo nang kunin yung chairmanship o pagiging justice in charge o pagiging ponente. Dahil yeah, ang pangyayon na kaso na uh, walang partiality o walang bias, mm. eh, mm. yung judge mo na. Disqualified ka na. Because you yeah, can have yung tinatawag nating cold neutrality of an impartial judge. Yun lang po ang yeah. aming mo. What's the risk here for the Marcos camp? Because alam natin, the Supreme Court can have its temper also, and they can also uh, be slighted. And uh, what's the risk here coming to the court with a very serious allegation, asking somebody to inhibit, and basically what you have is, an, is a newspaper report quoting an unnamed source? Well, if it's just uh, a newspaper report uh, with an unnamed source, you know, any judge or much more, the Supreme Court will not look too kindly at that. But mm. the practical uh, effect of this on the part of the Marcoses is kung gusto nilang mapabilis yung decision, eh magpa-file ka ng inhibition, it will take some time again for the That's justice I mean. to yeah. uh, yeah. resolve the motion for inhibition. So, mahaba yung... Uh, Process. Mm. If we were to assume the accurate po yung Manila Times story uh, alleging that Justice Leonard wanted to dismiss the case as early as 2017, uh, would that be inappropriate? Uh, I mean, don't the justices deliberate among themselves uh, on the merits of a case? Well, definitely among themselves, they discuss, they share ideas, they even try to convince each other. That's the whole essence of a collegiate body. So there's nothing wrong for any justice, for that matter, to express his interest in the Supreme Court among his colleagues and uh, argue his uh, position. So that's normal and that's encouraged. In the the yung yeah. without any reason. So they have to discuss and they have to put the table on their argument. In which case, sir, in which case, uh, if, uh, if the story was true, would there have been something inappropriate with that? 
I, I don't, it's within the confines of the Supreme Court. Among uh, themselves, wala namang problema. Kasi nag-uusap naman talaga sila. Nag-argue. Kung minsan talagang they don't see eye to eye. They have their own respective uh, uh, positions and uh, legal arguments. So, that's the essence. Uh, hindi naman one track mind ang Supreme Court. Uh, these are 15 intelligent justices. They have their own minds. And it's part of their duty to argue uh, their own position and try to convince the others.